One, two, one, two. Microphone check, check. Damn, there's so many languages already in the chat. And special, it was, okay? It's like English, Spanish, French. Let's do it. Ooh, bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, as I was saying, um, lots of languages already in the chat. Are we in? I guess we're in. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me, let me check. We are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Bonjour, everybody. Hello. <laughs> bonjour. Hola. Well, what do we have? This is Dirty Phonics with you on a nice uh, Friday afternoon here in Los Angeles. Uh, what, time it, what time is it in France right now? Like 10 p.m. or something? It's nine hours more. So it's okay, 11. 11. All right, cool. Well, whatever time of the day it is, welcome to the Dirty Phonics Disciple Ask. Yeah, so, no, it's Ask Disciple. Yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, so it's uh, mentoring, asking questions, Q&A, all of that good things. So one, let's Sorry. go. Let's do this. I mean, the chat's already like popping. So where do we start? Do we start at the beginning? You go all the way up. Oh, dude, Begin. there's so many. What to ask? All right, let's many start. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Did you did you evil get inside? Oh shit. Bicycle. <laughs> all right. Oh, shout out uh, barely alive. Oh yeah. Cool. There we got barely alive in the chat. We got lots of people. We got some French people. Simplifier. Sammy is here. Hold Sammy on. Sammy's here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, yeah. Bendel's in the building. Bendel's in the building. Yay. Salut les Français. Bonsoir. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Uh, um, uh, all right. So Simplifier is going to play Call of Duty. Well, have a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Quoi de beau aujourd'hui? Okay, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, trying to get to the questions. Yo, yo, yo. Ah, Bizo in the building, in the chat as well. Not in the building, actually. Not Amazon building. delivery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Catching up. What up, Astrid in there as well? Uh, Is it Bizo some... or Bizo? In French, we will say Bizo. Yeah, it's Bizo. Bizo, okay. Let's say it's Bizo. Shout out to Bizo. All right. Tabarnak. Oh, shit. Astrid, we've got some... <laughs> <laughs> all the franchises. Everyone's from Montreal. Uh, all right. First question. When have you started to produce music? Um, dude, years Six and years and years, years ago. ago. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to say, like, when we actually started producing. Because, I mean, I feel like I've been making music my whole life, you know. Um, started playing the guitar when I was... 
a very little kid and then um became a teenager played in rock bands and metal bands and all that good things in garage bands pretty much yeah right and then um yeah after that i think i think we started like discovering like because in france where we're from um there was like a huge house and techno or the beginning of techno like vibe and scene uh back then so we discovered that and we're like all right cool so now you can use a computer to create sounds like like crazy as sounds yeah, and, you don't need uh, a band anymore you don't need like a, a drummer <laughs> yeah, you a vocalist you don't need to to deal with all this ego so you, we're like all right cool let's make some music with the computer and yeah. we decided to make, Finally. make a band yeah <laughs> but yeah basically like started in rock bands um like what fucking 20 years ago more and then after that uh electronic music and and that that would like at that time As I said, you know, we were like all into like Chemical Brothers and Prodigy and all the French house. Daft Punk, Justice. Yeah, obviously. Well, Justice came a little bit after, but you know, the yeah. thing is like we discovered drum and bass, which was like kind of like the base of like bass music um, or modern bass music. And uh, and yeah, we're like, dude, you can have that kind of energy in like an electronic environment. And that was the beginning of it. Yeah, pretty much. Do you have anything to add, Pitch? uh i mean i don't know there is so much uh to say about this but yeah like the huge steps to be able to to make music on your own uh and um i guess djing is a huge part of it because we both started as djs and you did too right yeah yeah, yeah. so we both started as djs like just want to play the you know for the love of the music for people but at some point you just want to get more involved And you want to create your own sound. You want to create your own bridges between genres, or do your own thing. So yeah, I think DJing is like the the third step. Like you was like starting to make music, like playing guitars and little bands and stuff like that. Second big step is like, oh, you can make music on a computer by yourself. Huge. And the third biggest step was definitely DJing yeah. and wanting to make our own music. And I can so go on and on and on, but this is must summarize the 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 beginning really yeah so the next question from lemuel um what was it like working with boss fight to make evil inside actually really awesome yeah <laughs> it was easy it went pretty fast um i think he sent something to start with and we jumped on that added all our stuff and blah 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 and then we can like have the body of the uh, of the song ready pretty fast i'd say like within a week or something um and then it took us more time to find the exact vibe that we wanted for the intro i think we did oh, like yeah, true. We three a little or little four bit. different right. intros yeah sorry I, i'm sorry i cut you but i forgot it's just true we kind of struggle with that intro we didn't came up with the lead and the vibe at the first we had a, it will be cool like to be able to just go and listen to the previous intro before but yeah Sorry, go go on. But yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, the, yeah. The, so, so like the the song in itself came about like super fast, because um, yeah, as I said, we were in the same vibe. He sent something. We're like, yo, that's dope. We sent our stuff back. He was like, yo, that's dope. Um, and then yeah, yeah, it took us a little more time to like figure out the intro and general vibe. Um, and once we found it, I mean, you know, same thing. I, I think we wrote the track over like a period of like three weeks or something like that, which which is pretty fast for an online collab, because you know. You do your stuff, you send it. There's a few days of waiting, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's a very good. So time. yeah, overall it was cool. Um, yeah, really good experience. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I think I said that before in previous Q and A or interviews or something like that. But what was really awesome with him is that he's really hands on, like at every single steps. Not and not only in terms True. of like making the tracks. Like we all worked. Uh, with the Monster Cat team too, obviously. Uh, with the, you know, like making the like the the little video, the assets, the like the visualizer and stuff like that. And everybody like made, you know, like their little twist to everything to the tracks. The video. Yeah. So you know, really, really cool dude. Uh, work fast. He's super talented. So yeah, we get more fight. Yeah, and uh, as you were saying, it's like super cool to see. Um, um... I mean, you know, the fact that we all worked on the visuals, but because like that was kind of like the same creative process, you know, of like sending back and forth and adding little bits here and there. So yeah, that, totally. that was fun to like be able to work on that project. Um, where are we from? We're for France, Paris, France. Paris, France. That's right. Uh, right, right now, right. We, right now we live in Los Angeles, and that's where we're both streaming from. 
Um, but yeah, starting from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Sorry, the 19th district is not as nice as my neighborhood today. So just saying. So someone named Krusticrot says, um, "On peut poser des questions en français, which means can we ask questions in French? Yes, you yes. can definitely. We oui, tu peux, and we will answer in English, so everybody can understand." Ivory in the building. Ooh, ooh. Uh, big up Ivory. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I uh, had you for a second. Where are you? Bruh. That, that, what's the next track, boys? Do you want to answer that pitch? Uh, it's it's a good question. Um, we, what's the next? We don't know which track, which next track will be out. We know right. which one we're working on, but. Yeah, we're working on, uh, we've been working on lots of different things. Uh, as you can imagine with um, the confinement, uh, we have more time than usual to, you know, be home and write. Um, so we've been working on an EP. And we Where's have- Where's the crash? <laughs> you were that, was for you. that was for you. I know, that was for you. Um, so yeah, working on an EP, we really have no idea when it's going to be out. Um, To be fairly honest, like it couldn't be out now ish, but because, you know, this whole thing happened, we're taking more time to write and not be like, you know, the thing is like, there is no pressure. I feel no pressure to like release right now. I want to release a lot of stuff, but it's like, I'd rather, you know, take my time um, so we can write super fucking cool music, you know, take more time than usual to like experiment with plugins and, and, you know, bring new ideas in and all that. So we're at that stage where, you know, all the songs are pretty much written, but we're, you know, still toying with them. I guess that's what every producer is doing. If you don't have a deadline, it's, oh, I love your cup. Nice your mug. mug. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, leave a producer with no deadlines and you can always tweak bits and bops and, and keep writing. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's very true. I mean, there is a lot of... Uh... I don't know. There is a lot of, 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 of different level on that. So first of all, obviously the entire music industry have been pushed around with this whole situation that we're all facing. And uh, it's always for us as artists and for the labels and everything, like what should we do? Should we like release music and not be able to support it on like by touring and playing the songs or just like supporting by playing streamings and stuff like that. So it's still something I think like everyone else is we're all trying to figure this out. And uh, <clears throat> like Charlie said, at some point, I don't know, like it's just when it's getting too complicated with like creation and stuff like that, we just rather just let it happen and see what happened. And uh, because it's definitely like, uh, I don't know how can I say that. It's definitely like a luxury thing, thing to be home. And like Charlie said, having a little bit less pressure on the deadlines because when you're touring a lot, it's always like, okay, cool. I'm home for four days. I'm exhausted. And now we have to be, we have to make a track. We have to make songs. We have to finish this. And it's like, we, we always need deadlines because it, it pushed us to finish songs, but it's very nice to don't have this pressure. Uh, having said that, It's a lot of fucking around though. Like we, there is, yeah. because like you said, there is no ending to like tweaking, tweaking, trying, opening, starting a new track and never finishing it. So you, it's, you gotta find this balance between, okay, it's kind of easier in a certain way for the creative process to not have deadlines. But at some point you gotta, yeah, you gotta draw the line and be like, okay, this is, this project is done. Let's, you know, we'll do different stuff in a different tracks. Yeah, and I mean, also to be fairly honest, I mean, we've been grinding nonstop, you know, for over 10 years. Um, and it's cool to be able to take a little bit of a step back because we're, you know, we're incapable of doing nothing. There's always something going on. But uh, yeah, be able to, you know, be like, hey, you know what, whatever, I'm going to take some time. I mean, today I'm going to take some time off and, and, and do something for myself. I mean, I've, I've been starting to play Call of Duty. Um, by the way, everyone who wants to uh, add us, It would be Dirty Phonics. Very hard to find. I know, shit. I guess there's like a number with it. Fuck. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try to put it somewhere um, online. Uh, if you follow us on Discord, you can easily find the tag. But um, anyways, uh, Call of Duty talk apart. Um, yeah, you know, um, like, yeah. As I said, play, play with plugins. 
push all the buttons that you didn't know what they were doing and uh, and, and explore and experiment. Oh yeah, and it's and a good it's point ready, it's ready. that you mentioned um, having like after being on the road and like being constantly doing, doing, doing things. It's like uh, it's really nice to be able, like you said, like to to step back, but like in different in in a way in a lot of different ways. Like you can actually like like ask yourself like certain questions as a person, as an artist. Uh, you have the we we took the time like I mean like to like just like listen to like older music that you know that the music really started with like making music to like try to find the essence of what we do again because it's like sometimes it could feel maybe it's just only me I don't know but sometimes it could feel like a race you're like trying to race like against time because you get you need to get shit done you need to like travel you need to go there you need to finish this track you need to promote you need you know what i mean so that's like all right let's step back and just like focus on yourself and your craft one deeper there, yeah <laughs> i mean there's that and also on top of this this confinement has given us the opportunity to spend more time with our loved ones with our girlfriends dude, dude that makes a huge difference yeah and that's something that you can you know not forget because when you tour all the time you're constantly on the road and you know especially pitch and i being together we have our own little you know bubble and there's that that you know whole life that we're doing together and then as you said you go back home and it's like yeah you're there for three days or five days and you don't have a lot of time and you got to keep working and doing things and everyone wants to see you um so it's it's kind of hard to balance but overall it's something that is really important because you know your relationship with people and friendship and love and all that is i guess more important than anything at the end of the day yep. um so yeah this is somehow we're transforming this whole corona confinement thing and something you know trying to find the positive in it as in hey you know what we're stuck here well we may as well use that time creatively spend some time with the people we love and all that and And yeah. focus on what really matters. That's right. Whatever in music and as a person. Yeah. So to go back next to the questions. Or, to go back to the original question, which, which was what, what what's the next track? Um, it could be the EP, but we've also been working on like some VAPs. We've started some collabs. So who knows? But there's there's some stuff coming up very soon. <laughs> Sammy said, "Lol, Charlie Bomboclat MC." I don't know. Maybe it was from a while ago. I like <laughs> Probably. I like uh, I like uh, hearing uh, or Charles. reading Sammy speaking patois. You already Jamaican patois. Uh, Joseph says, "Charles got a beard." Yeah, kinda. yeah. That's that's Corona effect. I know. What the fuck? Hey, why not? I, th I, I thought I, I never. I, I will never see the day. But you know, it's I mean, happening. if I'm not gonna do it now, I'll never do it. So yeah. Ta-da! Do you like I keep it? that though? <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, where are you from? We haven't shared that question. Uh, are we going to yeah. answer it again? Because maybe he wasn't there earlier. Ah, привет, uh, uh, crazy hack. Привет. That's Russian. Da, da, da. Where are you? I don't even, I'm like lost. Yeah, dude. Um, oh, I'm how do, I, okay, I'm how do you become a French person? What? How do you become a French person? Someone... Dr dr <laughs> Dude, you don't become a French 20. person. You're born and raised like that. And it's like yeah. hard to unbecome. How do you say that? Like not I like it. Like, I like yeah. it. I like unbecome. How do you how do you say the, the correct one in English? Um unbecome. Yeah, okay. It's because <laughs> I'm not I'm, I'm just saying that because we 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 moved uh uh in the US. We're living in the US since five years now, and uh it's really nice and stuff, but what I'm saying is uh it's uh a different culture a different way a different sense of humor and stuff like that and uh you gotta you kind of have to adapt and be a little less french sometimes or people don't understand or think you're rude but when but you're not but you're rude for them sorry yeah. not really yeah. just french <laughs> well the I obvious thing else to say about the, this the obvious answer french? was eat a lot of fucking cheese and say we oui, oui, we that's what everyone wants to hear oh uh, true and baguettes <laughs> and uh And drink a lot of coffee and uh, don't smoke cigarettes. And uh, yay. Um, so we have lots of people, lots of French people in the chat. Yes. Yeah. 
Dude, you know what? That's that's one thing that I've been missing. To be fairly honest, I don't I don't mind staying home and all of that, and create you know you create your own little universe. Uh, but I do miss traveling and like eating all the different foods, and I miss cheese so bad. Like right now, I'd kill for a huge platter of cheese and and, and great wine. But hey, that's just me. Okay, cool. Me too. Don't bring it up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, tell us the story of how you got signed by a disciple. Wow. <laughs> Dude, I, I had so many wrong answers. Uh, <laughs> up. Um, the real story is, I believe, I mean, we've, we've known these guys. We've known Rob and Ross and Dan for years before Disciple was even a thing. Yep. Um, I guess we met like touring or, I mean, you know, their English were French. We were, you know, playing in the same markets and, and same cities. Um And then we moved here, and I think they moved to Los Angeles like six months after us or yeah, something this, like that. This is how it happened. Yeah, we got closer to all the, the, the Disciple crew because we kind of arrived in LA, let's say, at the same time. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's, it's funny because I'm sure that if you uh, listen to multiple interviews, you'll have a slightly different story because, <laughs> you know, it gets a little blurry at some point. But uh, yeah, we basically like, you know, the Disciple guys and us were in Los Angeles and we, you know, started chatting and hanging out. And at that point, we created something that, you know, for us, we felt like, you know, was missing is that in Los Angeles, there's so many artists and we all see each other on the road at shows and all that. But it's it's not like real hang time, you know, of the circuit, of the music, of all of that. So we I mean, joined- no, yeah, it's not, not yeah, that, that, that's not real hangout. Yes, we hang out. But what, what Charlie's trying to say is like, you hang out in a club, in a festival yeah. environment. So it's like, it's crazy. Everybody wants to party. It's super fun. You know, don't get, don't get us wrong, but it's like, you don't go as deep into things or I don't know. Like, you know, it's not like, it's just, it's quick. It's hectic. Everybody has to go play, do something. So, and, and, and yeah. And I mean, because, you know, going back to the question before, but because we're French, we do have this habit or, you know, or European call it whatever you want, but of, Hey, let's all hang out together and have some food. So the disciple oh, yeah. guys and us, and we called like all of our friends. We used to have a Monday night producers dinner, and we'd you know go somewhere, have a few beers or drinks, and and eat something called together, and and talk about sure music as well, but also life, more personal things. Um, and that's I guess how we really started to hang out together together. Yeah, dude, we should. I don't know. I know it's like something not now, obviously, but. Like next year or something, we should try to find a way to bring those dinners back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've that been talking about it. The best, like just a random place in LA. Most of the time, it was downtown, I guess. But yeah, it was like it was just crazy. It was literally a sausage pod lineup, EDC <laughs> festival lineup. You know what I mean? Like all together, just hanging out, having so much fun. So yeah, and 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 then I mean, you know, uh, for us, music and and. Our career has always been about people, you know, all the people that we, we've, we've been working with are people that we feel comfortable with on a human side. You True. know, we're, we're not going to like compromise for whatever it is. Um, not, you know, not money or fame or call it whatever you want. Um, and we just clicked with this guys, you know, I mean, it's it, one thing is that that's pretty simple is that we had a common vision of being Europeans and moving over, you know, that was kind of like a starting point of, Oh, I know how you feel and what you're going through because you know we're doing the same thing. Good point. And then, well, big fucking surprise. We hung out. We write music. They release music. We release music with them. Yeah. Yep. 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 Simple as. But yeah, but I mean, if 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 you're not us, send your music. Wait, what? I'm sure, I'm, if, if you know, if you don't know the guys, because like that's not oh, very yeah, helpful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But if you don't know the guys, just send your music. I'm not. I'm, I don't know if they have like a. Is there like a disciple demo box or something like that? Or But I'm sure I'm sure better, yeah. you can uh, download the <laughs> the stems of No Mercy, that's right. and make a sick ass remix, and be signed on Disciple. That, that's it. That's this is crazy, dude. Like this is this. I would love this whole concept, this whole this whole contest competition thing. But it's huge. Like you literally can be signed on Disciple. Like well, it's the biggest remix competition of all time. I know it is. So yeah, no, this is this is awesome, and we're super happy to be, you know, a part of it. That you know, all the artists, 
basically give the, their stems to be remixed. Yeah. So when you're, you know, um, a beginner producer or even confirmed producer, you have so many sounds, so much material to work with and play with. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, we've, we've already started to hear uh, a few uh, remixes of No Mercy. Um, we're not going to say anything until, you know, we actually have all of them in and blah, blah, blah. But there's some good stuff. Yeah, cooking. there's some sick stuff. Just to go back to the to the to the disciple, how we met and stuff like that. I just want to say, like a part of like the fact, like we 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 met those guys like a long time ago. <clears throat> the family is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and uh, it's like it's cool, man. Like everybody is like shout out to every single person who's on disciple and on run table. Like honestly, everybody is just like so like just nice, down to earth. There is no fucking you know like big head like ego bullshit. Everybody is focused, amazing people. And this is why we really, you know, that's, this is really the reason, like, we, we like this family kind of feeling. And I'm sure you guys can see it online. I'm sure you guys can see it through, like, the Disciple Weeks and when we just do hangouts and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, it's just cool, man. It's just, like, it's just easygoing and cool people, talented people gathering together. Love you guys. I'm done. <laughs> next question uh barely live ask if we like coffee um the only answer i can think of is for french i'm so. drinking now but uh by the way uh willie's uh game coffee games it's uh, is i have to admit next level compared to mine and true I have, to, i have to i have to upgrade my coffee game all coffee. right so let's do this whenever uh we're done with quarantine we'll go to willie's place and we'll have a little like coffee tasting or you know Something like that. So, Willie. Is it quarantine or quarantine? Quarantine? Quarantine. Quarant quarantine, I think. So, yeah, Willie, it's all up on you now. Cool. He's um, that, that, uh, Evil Inside VIP Disciple or Monster Cat. Evil Inside was on Monster Cat. No, but the VIP. Oh, the VIP? Well, VIP is unreleased, so no label yet. <laughs> um it's so that... funny it probably everybody was like yo you're on lockdown what the fuck it's just like there's a question for your pitch ben liz wants to know why Ooh. Benels. yep why why mm -hmm. huh. i don't know why charlie well because it's pretty uh, obvious i guess yeah uh oh shit i lost i lost the there were where i was at uh, no no you were like uh barely left do you like coffee uh new ep yes it's on the way uh evil inside vip yes it's on the way mm -hmm. whenever we can open this session again god damn it we're, we're on it <laughs> so close but so far at the same time we had a we had a we are, we are having a huge um uh dude rock, there's so many questions rock, we're gonna rock. have to go faster huh there are so many questions we're gonna have uh, to okay go sorry much right. faster anyway we're struggling with one hard drive uh, okay so there's oh. a question someone says poly redeem dirty phonics remix question mark so no. no no but i'd like to say that i fully support what the dude is doing um you don't have to like it it doesn't have to be danceable it doesn't have to be anything the sheer fact that he wanted to try something out and he did it. It's fucking awesome. Yep. If you don't like it, don't buy it, don't stream it, don't play it, whatever. But let the dude let you know all artists should be fucking free to do whatever they want. No question so. about this. I mean, this this people is people hating on him. Uh some people are. You know, know, they're I like critiquing the, the fact that. The well, they're critiquing the fact that the, the that time signature you can't dance to, or it's not exactly. They're criticizing rhythm. it, or like they're just making fun of it because it's funny. I don't know. Okay. I just want to say that I fully support who you know anyone who's creative. Yeah, because I made it. fun of maybe you didn't see it, but I made fun of it. Not fun of it in a mean you way did? at all. But yeah, I did a story because you can kinda of actually hand bang on it. You just have to catch it. You know? Yeah. Just saying. Anyway. Um, how did we meet each other? We met at a show, I guess. So. I think so, yeah. I mean, I was, uh, because Dirty Phonics was already existing before I got in. So I can't, and I was just DJing on my own. And I was like, kind of, kind of, kind of a fan, you know, like it was like, there were like, you know, like it was, it was a big deal. Like the, the, the production level and stuff, even if I was shit back in the days for me, 
uh, I was like, holy shit. I was looking up to those guys until they called me and I got in it. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's I think this is because you were playing a show or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't but basically since we met, that was like, what, 15 years ago or something like that. Oh um, we've pretty much seen each other every single day until quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird dude it's so weird yeah yeah no definitely it's just like one of those things it's just like you don't have to try too hard or anything it's just like okay click that's it same mm -hmm. background same interest same uh taste of music taste of art in general aesthetic or style whatever it's just like it's just the easiest thing ever it's like yo dude cool yeah cool done so yeah All right, French gang, salut les Français. Where are you, dude? I'm, I'm, dude, I don't know. I'm somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, cool. How long have we been producing? We answered that. Um, how did you meet your other? Okay, again, are you good? One of are your you best alive? Okay. food, one of your best food ever, guys. Hold um, on, hold on. I've already said La Marseillaise en intro, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> All right, so La Marseillaise is our uh, national anthem. So, so as an intro, hey, why not? For... La Marseillaise, an in introduction. You mean as a set, like a, an intro of a set, or, or just like before we start streaming? I guess maybe before we start streaming, that will be nice. Uh, so one of your best food ever, guys. I'm gonna say oyster because I'm craving oysters right now. Uh, And cheese, melted cheese, raclette, all the every day. Raclette. I'm done for raclette. And if you if you don't know what yeah, raclette is, go and watch the disciple ask a amplifier answers that question. Cool. See, I've been watching, dude. Oh wow. <laughs> um, mm, 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 what else do we have? French gang, bonjour les Français. Barely life sent us. Here's a question for you. And we love you. And you're very handsome and very French. Yeah. I think that describes us pretty oh, well. Oh, Barrier Live is sent you here. That's so cool. So yeah, that's, that's what I thought. So I think Barrier Live is streaming at the same time because they're doing the marathon thing. So don't go go say hi to them too. You know, just go back and forth. Someone ask. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, do we do we intend to like make new collabs? And if yes, who with? Um, yes, and we're not gonna say. Uh, No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Bezo says it's Bezo. Okay. B Big si. Bezo. Merci. Yeah. A petit Bezo. <laughs> da, 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 da. What else? Um, are you guys ready for the Insomniac stream tomorrow? What can we expect? Hell yeah, we're ready. Oh man, dude. So Hell yeah, we're ready. Fun. Super excited about it. Got the whole Disciple fam. We're not really going to see them because it's kind of like in and out, you know. Uh, to stay as safe as possible. But uh, very, very excited about it. What can you expect? I mean, I would be lying if I said that it wasn't going to be super extra heavy. Yep. <laughs> uh, we we will play some unreleased track. That's 100% sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, Some ideas from the EP we were talking about. Yes. Yep. And uh, you got to find them though. Uh, because there is, uh, and there is like, yeah, there is like a lot of ideas uh, from us and other people and other French producers. We'll see, but yeah, it's 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 we're super excited. We actually got a. This is what we're gonna do right after the stream. Uh, Charlie and I are gonna go back on Zoom, I guess, and uh, try to like work on the set a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. Yeah, it's super exciting. It's uh, it's awesome. Disciple taking over. Like the Insomniac stream, it's huge. So yeah, super stoked on this one. Do we know any memes? I think everybody everybody knows memes, some memes. Uh, but if you want to ask anything about memes, ask Barely Alive. They know. Bandles are even better. And Bandles, for sure, yeah. But these guys here are killing it at memes. Yeah, I suck at it. I don't fucking, I don't know. I, um, just, I, just, I just laugh, swipe, laugh, swipe. I don't, I don't get involved. Where to learn arrangement? That's a good question. Um, I don't know, actually, if there's somewhere. I've never really seen, uh, you know, electronic music or dubstep tutorial about arrangement. I'm sure I'm sure there are some out there on YouTube. The best way to do it, I mean, I guess that's what we did when we started, is to really listen to the tracks you love and try to 
either recreate them, but not exactly, you know, per se, but you're like, oh, cool. Now there's a lead coming in and now there's like this and that. And really listen to, you know, put a section in loop and try to see all the different layers and all the things. And once it's like by doing it and by trying to recreating something that you understand why a certain element is coming in or out um, and, and how to assemble the whole thing. But, and I mean, and you're going to be finding your own ways to do it as well by, you know, experimenting. And um, we, I mean, not to say at shows and stuff like that, because you don't necessarily play shows when you like start to make music and stuff, but try to uh, DJ your own music, like trying to mix them with other tracks, because we re realize like a lot of times, like how like a structure or how like, I don't know, like this, like drone in the back, uh, those brass or this lead or this, this, I don't know, like, you know, there are certain little things are not necessarily obvious when you're listening to the track by itself mm -hmm. but when you start and try to dj to play it in a dj set with other tracks some stuff like oh shit this is in the way this is not this is you know what i mean yeah and i mean th that shouldn't stop your creativity if you do if you find something that's really awesome but it doesn't really go well with you know when you're mixing it hey whatever yeah, yeah. it doesn't really matter but if, if you're looking for something that really blends in other songs then yeah try to do that and that's a great way to uh see where you'd have too much or not enough yep. i guess and i mean sure you can always like it digging you know music theory and all of that but that that's i guess that wasn't really your question to start with um ivory collab when when <laughs> <laughs> we we've, we've been talking about it i mean to be you know let, let's be transparent um we've been talking about it he's busy doing his thing we're busy doing our things but it will happen at some point for sure 100 percent soon ish Indeed. all right you know will you guys make some drum and bass music and um as an id someday someday as an id someday that's funny yeah yeah definitely when i don't know whenever 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 we feel like it and that's the thing you know man it's I feel like a lot of people are really a lot of like younger producers. I see them online and they're like really concerned about, you know, their career and their image and all that. And it's great. It's something that you're going to have to take in consideration at some point and put, you know, your kind of twist to it. But we're at, what really matters is, you know, is the music. I'm, I'm, Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> So uh, yeah, no, no, no. I follow the question. Uh, I don't know what you said, but um, well, we, what, what I was saying is that basically, yes, we'll make some drum and bass again, um, but we don't really know when it'll be when we feel like making drum and bass again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's we, there's always like project unfinished project on our on our yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Anymore. I mean, to, like once again, to be honest, we are working on the new drum and bass track right now. If it's gonna be released soon or not, are we gonna ha be happy with it or not? I mean, it's too early to say. Uh, What can I say? And that's only me personally. It's uh, drum and bass. We, as much as we love drum and bass, I'm, as much as I love drum and bass, and trust me, I've been like listening, DJing, enjoying, and we've been producing drum and bass with Dirty Funny since like 10 years now. Uh, it's just a style who has like, I don't know. It's not like a nostalgic style in a way. No, I, won't, I didn't want to say that. I don't know. It's like, We've, we've done so much of it that I'm not only personally as right now as excited about it. And I don't want to like upset anybody or anything, but it's just like, it's like the, the drum and bass who comes out today really appeal to me because it brings back memories. But the majority of it is like, it's still like good old drum and bass when with dubstep or other genre, I feel like it's in constant evolution And I, and I love that. It just, um, I don't know. I mean, having said that, to be honest, though, it's like, it's like, it, it's always like going up and down. We yeah. always have phases. So yeah, come back eventually. Sometimes we get excited as right now, we get excited about it because we started a new track and uh, we'll see where it takes us. But we, we are, we are trying to challenge it. Again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's guys got to be, you know, fun and feel good. And when it's ready, it's ready. Yep. Um, do we make music separate from the Dirty Phonics project? Yes. Um, I mean, you know, overall, we've we've written so much under under many different aliases. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, at, at the moment, right now, 
I don't think so. Do we? No, we don't. Um, but yeah, we've done we've done some you know uh, more orchestral stuff for um, you know commercial trailers and stuff. We've done some house music that I'll never see the day of light, even though it's really good. Uh, some house music who did who, who saw the the day of light, but who threw a different name that nobody. Oh uh, yeah, true know. as well. So yeah, 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 and I think it's very healthy to actually you know write stuff that don't follow the same production rules that way you usually make because that that you know that 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 makes you find new ways and new things and, and you can re-inject that then in you know dust set drum and bass or whatever you write so yeah we do um there's no big secret but we don't have any interest in like either you know promoting it because it's something different and it's fun what do, what DAWs are you comfortable with um We've worked on pretty much all of them over the years. Uh, we've worked on FL, we've worked on Acid, we've worked on... Uh, dude, I have. I have. I've worked on Trackers. Boom. Me too. I started on... I, no, I didn't start. I started on the MPC XL. Oh, yeah. dude. Mm -hmm. And Acid was next. And Reason. Oh, Reason. Yeah, I forgot Cubase. that. So yeah, we did, we did a lot of Cubase. And, uh, and now we've been on Ableton Live for... What, like five, four years now, maybe, or three years, or two years? Uh, since the Veltroyat collab. So that was 2016? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. So four years. Uh, dun, dun. That's a great way, actually, to uh, learn Ableton Life to collab with Val. <laughs> yep, that's great. Mm -mm -mm. Pain au chocolat ou chocolatine. All right, that's... The, it, I can't translate this. This is... a. Uh, French debate about how you call um, uh, chocolate, chocolate croissant. croissant. We're Parisians, so pain au chocolat, but I love chocolatine as well. I'm like in I between. Mean, so it's yeah, it's the difference between the north and the south to make it simple. So in the south of France, they call it chocolatine, the um, chocolate croissant, and in the north in Paris, we call it pain au chocolat. And I think I'm just like not really educated in that topic, but I think the recipe is a little different. I think there is a layer of sugar on top of the chocolatine, which is the one in the south. So, but yeah, it's always uh, when we go down south in France, uh, they, they make fun of us, you know? Um, a lot of people are asking me to go and sit on a, in my couch. In my, yeah. Uh, Where is it? Please. Which which side? I'm not even sure. Oh, can you can you uh, can you teleport to somewhere else? Yeah, I mean, um, I think I'm caught because it's a beautiful day today in LA, and there's like gray sky in my background. <gasps> Looks like New York, though. I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like a New York loft. <laughs> no, I don't feel like going in my awesome couch. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a book, just like uh, the, <laughs> one of those, like in the under the staircase, please. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, Sammy's asking if uh, the amplifier is asking if I'm living in a mansion. Oh, and, and he wants to know if you ride your bike in your flat. Uh, no, because this one is flat. Uh, but I have another one right there that I that, that, I, that I used to ride almost every day. But since uh, the lockdown, uh, I'm just like trying to be civilized and responsible, and I stay in. It's sad. I really miss it, but you know, this is how it is right now. Someone's asking us when. I um, mean, you know, who um, who handles the social networks for us? It's us, and it really depends on on which platform. Um, I mostly do Twitter. Pitch does Instagram. Uh, that's why you don't see my face on the stories much. Um, uh, we do Facebook call. I mean, I hate Facebook. Kind of okay. suck at it. Like, dude, <laughs> I wish we were like naturally just better, but we we have all our hearts is like so like willing to do it right and like spend some time and stuff like that. But but yeah, just like don't 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 blame us. We're just we're really trying our best, but we gotta keep it I don't know natural too at the same time and don't make it forced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are handling everything ourselves because it matters to us and this is the way we want to do it. And uh, if you talk to us on Instagram, for example, you already know because we trying to literally answer everyone, even if it's time consuming, 
it's uh, really important because we're not huge fans of social network in general, but the best thing about it nowadays is like it just connects all of us, you know, yeah. like through the music and stuff. So we really care and we're taking the time. But yeah, we I wish we could do better and we could be better at it. But yeah, so Facebook, it's both of us. Yeah, I try, I try to go to Discord. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I try. I, I just, it's, I don't know. I just don't yeah. think of it. Uh, what else? Do we don't have TikTok? I can't. I just, I just. No, we just, will not have a TikTok. I just, I just, no. I mean, it's fun. Like, I'm sure like everybody has a lot of fun, but I just not going to dance. Oh, I don't know. I can't do that. Uh, yeah, it's, I can't. Uh, gave up on Snapchat a long time ago. Right. So yeah, basically Instagram and Twitter are the two main ones and Discord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Square Perception is in the house. Yup. Then where did the name came from? All right, so I'll be honest. I hate this question because I mean, ask any artist where the name comes from and everyone's going to be like, oh, fuck. So I'll answer it one more time and I'll say why I'm answering it. Dirty Phonics, we basically wanted, like, we when we started, and, you know, I think it's stupid or whatever, but when we started, we were making, you know, mostly drum and bass or, like, heavy bass music, but we also wanted to do it in a way that was, like, a little different from what we were hearing back then, um, and we wanted to really pay a lot of attention to detail and, and, and you know, have some... Uh, like right intros and vibes that were a little more, you know, epic and orchestral and all that. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you have to just mention one thing because out of context, it could be difficult to understand. Back in the days, when we started, when we were like starting like making music and mainly drum and bass, dubstep was like barely there. It was just the beginning of it. And it was like deep, like the first, like Roscoe was just like, just getting started so the wobbly stuff was and was just barely started dubstep was like only deep like you know mala and uh and scream and benga and caspa you know and like all those stuff so what i'm what i was trying to say is like it was very rather minimal or even drum and bass was really dark mm -hmm. and very much formatted for djing so that was like like house music or techno is still nowadays no, no, it's like it was like 64 bars or even sometimes even more of just an intro, which is was a drone and a beat. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, in, it's, I mean, obviously, you can always find all the tracks. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, you know what I mean? But like in general, there was really music to DJ with. And we really wanted uh, like to add like more musicality. Uh, yeah, to more it. to it. More like a vibe. Like uh, this is why we love doing like like instrumental, orchestral, not instrumental, orchestral kind of intros and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It really became from that feeling, from like the feeling that back in the days, even if it was not the way like a drum and bass were listened to, like as streaming and stuff like that at home, uh, we really wanted to like bring this. Like you can press tr play on the track from the beginning to the end and it's like enjoyable to listen to more than just like a DJ tool with like 60 bars of just a beat to be able to beat match. Yeah. Bars. right and 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 also like regarding you know the the vibe we wanted to yeah ma like find a basically find a contrast between the heaviness of the music and and you know what it was and what we were creating uh and also something a little more precious because we're french because we wanted to uh, you know go in that direction so whatever that's how it started dirty phonics put it together it's one word yeah. if i see anyone writing it in two words that makes me really mad <laughs> but I mean, yeah, yeah, it's what, what, what Charlie's Charlie saying is like, so this is why Dirty Phonics, like Dirty was like the heavier, hard hitting, a lot of energy, like let's go hard mm -hmm. of the side of the music. And Phonics is more like the attention to details, like, you know, like, I don't know, the crafting, the stuff. So it was like, you know. And, and also we were looking for a too. name that if you Googled it, that's pretty much the only thing you'd find. And no. some and a name who was able to be pronounced in like in French in, and English in yeah, in true. in in different languages, like in Italy they're gonna call us dirty phonics. In French <laughs> we call people. I mean we call ourselves dirty phonics, but you know what I mean. And in English obviously dirty phonics, <laughs> or in England they're gonna be like dirty phonics, just like virus syndicate. 
Uh, so you know what I mean? Like it, it was, it was kind of a challenge to find a, a name who will work phonetically speaking yeah. in a lot of different languages. Right. So anyways, so, Hey, three phonics, blah, blah, blah. So my only advice you have, if I have one to give is try to find a name for yourself that, yeah, when you Google it, you just end up with, you know, stuff about you. Um, and think about the, how many letters go in your word. Because <laughs> to be honest, fitting 12 letters, logo, or whatever, and lots of different formats can be a pain in the ass. So, you know, think about it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Collab with Noise App. Dude, that'd be cool. That'd be fucking cool. Dude. Hey, actually, well, we were talking, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm thinking about that. You were to saying like, um, thank you to... Uh, Valentin Viltroyad for helping us starting with Ableton Live. Actually, you remember, Tice from Noisia like actually showed us live first. True. It was in a festival in Belgium yep. after after our show. And yeah, we were sitting on the ground. I think it was even like raining. And I was like, dude, what's the whole thing with clip, blah, 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 clips. I don't understand. Like, I don't even remember like how many hours I was like, we were just all partying, having a good time and stuff like that. And you guys were like sitting, like easy seat on the underground, like, yo, dude, like you can do this and stuff. It, it was for yeah. so long. So, yeah. Yeah, go, he was back the then a good bottle of vodka and then and, and an Ableton Live and we can go on forever. Yeah, dude, like those dudes are awesome. Like we've been friends with them since years now oh, yeah. toured all around the world i mean playing on the same lineup so many times it just yeah there's just they're the best yeah on we love these guys and on top of that talented people as as human beings they're just they're the best exactly big up noisa yep um are we gonna do a collab with excision or snails why not i mean yeah. you know same thing we've known these guys forever we've toured together blah 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 so uh it may happen we started one back in the days, like during when we did the the, the tour with uh, with Jeff. Excision, oh yeah, like in 2015 or something like that. It never mm -hmm. we never finished it or anything. I don't even know what that is now, but it it almost happened. And Fred Snails, uh, we talked about it, but I don't know. Same thing. Everybody's fucking busy, so it's just it's always like a matter of time. Sometimes you don't know. For example, the 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 bass nectar collab collab that we did in I don't remember when 2015. Something like that. I think yeah. it was like it took us like five years. Yeah, no, three, was it three, right? Am I correct? Three. I think it was like three years. Okay, three, three years. All right, sorry, but like between still, like the first session and the yeah, between the date. first session with him and the the when the the tracks saw the daylight was like three years apart. So I don't know. You never know. Things happen. Things happen for a reason or don't happen. Someone's a curp 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 is asking for um like how do you start? Um, how do you start what? Well, I guess producing or DJing or whatever, you know, ah. doing what we do. Um, love it. You have to love it more than anything because that you'll be, you'll end up doing that for 99% of your life. Or but it's not much. how you start though. No, but how, how you, you start? start? Hey, hey, you know what? Um, listening to music over and over and over again. Because this is how you start? I think so. I think that's the basis. I think that's huh. what's the most important because you know listening to music the music uh, will give you so much knowledge about what has been done what hasn't been done what you like what you don't like and and you know going back to the arrangement question or whatever a lot of things a lot of things will start making sense when you can see the thing as a whole and i'm not saying like you know go and play eight bars of a drop and whatever listen to the whole song you know for multiple songs and do that and compare and blah 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 and and I guess that's the first thing that at least when you'll start opening your DW and, 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 and work and try to figure out how it works all together, at least you'll have a rough idea of what direction you want to take. <clears throat> and if, if your question was more like, how do you start in terms of like taking action in the, 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 I want to say, I want to say into the business industry, but no, no, I mean, Oh, you mean I releasing think nowadays the, the way you started, because when we started, we you were starting as a dj even before making music yep and you started you can still do that nowadays but i mean you had to create your own team you had to be a promoter if you wanted to play you had to like organize pretty much everything and start djing 
and after production and making music came about. Nowadays, I think you gotta start by making music, making dope beats and something, diff- you know, like something like you feel good about and you want to share with the world and just reach out to like label DJs and stuff like that. It's just, it's compared to what, to when we started nowadays, it's kind of so much easier to be in contact with people. Like so mm-hmm. many DJs are doing like tutorials, like classes, like, on Discord, like there's so many like DJs and producers, like they're doing feedbacks on your tracks or whatever. Like it's just it's awesome. There is like the, the knowledge is out there, and mm. you can connect with a shit ton of people like really easily. We receive tracks on our Instagram or Discord or whatever like all the time, yep. and we're playing them. You know, when we like the tracks, we're actually playing them. We cannot wait to like receive all the No Mercy remixes, and I'm sure we're gonna end up playing a shit ton of it. Even if we have to pick one, <laughs> we'll you know, the winner one. We one still hour no play mercy set. Huh? <laughs> one hour no mercy set. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's this. Yeah, it's like you gotta produce some sick tunes and share it with like the world, and you'll see what happens. But as I don't know, like just don't ask. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's not a good advice. Maybe just you what? should like don't even bother with this. Just make dope shit. Just make good music. Yeah, but started. yeah, basically, like all the technical resources are online. Um, I would personally advise read the manuals when you can. I, I read the whole Ableton Live manual. I'm, what I'm, a, I'm that, like, oh, oh, hey, Puff, Puffy Shaw. <laughs> Yay! Actually, I think someone's asking if we have any pets. Hey, well, there you go. Hi, Puffy. No, no, she's me. She's like, you know, she has the beach face in, like, a, oh, it's like whatever, care. dude. She doesn't care. Oh, mm. So yeah, I was saying that, you know, technically go watch all the tutorials on YouTube, read the manuals when you can and when you want, that'll help you. And then, and then, yeah, you know, go out, make friends, meet people, hit them up online and just, you know, be cool, be respectful. Cause we do have like messages that range from someone who like writes us a whole message and explains, you know, says hi to start with, um, explains, you know, whatever you know oh i've been following you guys forever and blah 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 and you know talks about the song and sends a song and i'm like and you know it's like cool you get a human connection you want you want to interact with that person uh we also get messages that are like people sending you like just the link or whatever and it's like fuck you dude seriously yeah. <laughs> just yeah it's, it's like that that's i mean that's the very minimum for anything is, in the world anyway just yeah. don't be a dick yeah know? i mean the, the the most simple thing is say hello You'll see that'll change the world around. We got sidetracked like a lot. Yeah, like like uh, every single questions. So someone says uh, it's a great question. Someone ask uh, says, okay, I've never really understood uh, duos in music. How do you work it out? Who does what? And who would you say make the sounds we know as dirty phonics? Uh, hold on, one thing, the, the most important thing, the really the easy things to understand about being a duo, is like you will have someone next to you during this entire adventure that you can you can relate to like you know what i mean how how to say that in english correctly um it's the, like it's it's such a crazy adventure that i will be so sad if everything happened like just you know like just by myself like you know having charlie yeah but that's a judgment all the whole time it's just like this is this is the greatest thing ever like Aww. I mean, no, that's like, you know what I mean? Like being a crew of people, even if you're a solo artist, it's nice to be like, you know, to be like surrounded by other, other guys who like go and experience the same kind of thing. Because that's really the human side of things, being a duo. This is the first and, of all the greatest. And it stuff. keeps you grounded. Yeah. Because there's, like, you know, when the best shit happens to you and you're all like, woo, I'm the best of the world. There's always a dude who's like, yeah, chill out. Yep, same thing. <laughs> I, and when I, you're down, you have someone to bring you up too. So it's like on the on the human side, on human human level, that's really the most important. Right. And as uh, for music, it, whatever I mean, we do, not even music, like anything like related to the artistic, uh, like to art, anything artistic, pretty much. It's um, it's awesome because you're not, I mean, you're less stuck. You, because two brains like you know like you can always like rebound and you like i don't know maybe you struggle a little less in terms of ideas and stuff like that because always someone come up it's, with something yeah it's a different struggle yeah but yeah 
but having two person agreeing on something is is a can be hard yeah. so yeah it's uh, it can be challenging sometimes and sometimes it's amazing it's just like yeah. a, a brotherhood thing it's just like you know right. brothers they fight a lot but that's the same thing but they, they love each other a lot but you know we love each other it's all good <laughs> yeah and then and then in terms of like actually writing the music um we both have things that we do more of i guess yeah definitely. um i mean you know recently a lot of the sounds are coming from pitch he's been like sound designing more than i have where you know i'd be doing like more arrangements for yeah and charlie deals with my bullshit after and clean it all and <laughs> doing like the, the 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 not fun part i mean not always i like it yeah I'm fine with it. So um, yeah, yeah. Recently, I've been working mostly on like intros, arrangements, and mixing, and all that. And Pitch has been like designing some, you know, all the bases, and you know, sending me some like random sound where it's like, "Hey, put this somewhere," and I'm like, "Oh." oh okay. well, and I'm right. not saying put this somewhere. What the- <laughs> That's how oh. I feel. That's how I feel. Fuck you. <laughs> no, that's that's interesting. This is how you feel. This is totally how you feel. Fuck you, dude. Not always. Not always. Yeah, right. Sometimes it's all like <laughs> nice and layered and shit. Um, you're just a control freak. You're just like OCD as fuck. That's all. That, that's no, the problem. I can't, I can't find that. I am. I totally am. I'm just messy. That's all. All right. Um, ta-da. Where did you first meet? Pain en chocolat, with... voyons. There we go. Yeah, right on. We've already answered the where. Where did we meet? Um mm-mm. Ivory collab one, we've answered that. Uh, yeah, advice to uh, to to handle the uh, EDM duo. I think we we answered that. But yeah, I mean, you know, once again, it's it's funny because like the, the more it goes, the more we I believe, and I guess we believe that you know the the human side of it is is everything. Well, first of all, because you can't create art out of thin air, really. You know, it's got to come from somewhere. Um, and, and it's always about being nice with the people around you. You don't have to agree. And we do disagree a lot. Pitch and I, we have hours long phone conversation or Skype or, you know, IRL back in the days. Fuck that. <laughs> But it's also like really interesting because, you know, we're, 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 we're often like, you know, questioning everything on a very artistic level and all that and i think that makes it for very interesting discussions and and also for you know something that we really share i don't i'm not sure i said that really well um, no no but basically it keeps you once again it keeps just it just keeps you grounded and and it's not always easy to deal with but yeah. at least it's honest and true to what we want to do and mm-hmm. uh it i guess it and we we also trying to be better at what we do i guess if we can i don't know yeah and we also don't really believe in you know uh there is a leader and there's you know this other guy blah 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 it's like we both are dirty phonics we do all of what we do and make all the decisions together and that's it we're two very different people Hell but yeah. it's the mix of both of us that does what you know is dirty phonics Um, Dirty Phonics Apache. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, first of all, big up John for, you know, the album he just released. Um, Dude. I think it's awesome what he's so making sick. at the music. I mean, the, the kind of music that he's making right now. Um, I'm really happy for him that he did to get the, uh, you know, have a real orchestra recording all this shit i mean that's something i really want to do so i'm like oh you did it that's awesome yeah no he, he, did de- it well. he definitely managed to like even step out of like the bass music only you mm-hmm. know like it just his music his music is like so awesome really appeals to like a vast audience and and i'm not even surprised i mean we just yes obviously but yeah um apache 30 phonics collab we yeah we, we yeah we did we something back in the days you yeah. But it didn't really, you know, work out in the kind of things that we wanted to release back then. So um, we love the guy. We really love and respect his music. So it may happen it again. Happen you know, maybe too. It's yeah. the same. I don't know. It's just so far there is one tune. We played it a little bit. Remember? Yep. That's It's right. weird. Um, like second and, drop though. <laughs> Enrico says, uh, where can you find samples when you are broke? Dude, I mean anywhere and everywhere there are free samples all over the internet whether they're like you know free sample packs here and there or i mean youtube just like sample some videos and if you're talking about like where can i find some like bass samples and stuff 
when you're really broke i mean is 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 life that expensive yeah dude i, I don't know it's like 10 bucks a month i yeah, mean if well, you're really i mean, I mean if dude, you're really passionate a- about that that 10 bucks is like a pack of cigarettes i don't know if you smoke and if you do don't uh <laughs> or stop and like <laughs> yeah but you know i mean it's like if you really want to be doing this i feel like you can invest 10 bucks the thing is like okay so to be honest it's just like it's difficult for us and you know to- I th- hold on let me sorry Go for it. i got i gotta cut you off but you know what torrent 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 that shit and it's like it's just like it, i don't know to me like it's difficult like Dude, when we started back in the days, that was a real fucking struggle to find anything. Oh, like, there was no simple whatsoever. Like, this is no just simple. like, you know, nowadays it's just like the easiest thing ever. I feel like it. I don't want to be a dick. It's, I'm sorry if I sound like it. It's just like, I'm sure it's out there. And, and, and yeah, I don't know. You can sample so much from anything. I mean, grab your iPhone and go sample objects around you in your house, you know? <laughs> Hey, you laughing, dude? I mean, <laughs> no, no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I mean, Splice is full of Foley's that have been recording. Val does this all the time. Oh, dude, I know exactly. So Val, you know, yeah, yeah. You can't take Val for an example. He's gonna everything he touches gold. So you know. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Even a better answer. Uh, download the uh, biggest remix competition of all time, and you'll have there you go sixteen packs of samples for you to play with. There you go. Yay! Hey, <laughs> dude, what do you think of that? Sorry, I got excited. Yeah, right. Um, um, where are we? Barely live. Ask if I can uh, show us some books from the shelf behind me. Yes, um, I asked that earlier too. I, yeah, I know. Well, you should. Um, wh- why don't you come over, Willie? And uh, w- once this is over, you can come over and 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 watch in my bookshelf. But I sh- I don't know. <laughs> you you should like put like something even more. I know. Insane. I it's not even like. But I should have like a book that can, that can pick and be like. <laughs> you know? No, no, no. I'm saying like, like as a background, you should put something even more mentiony, crazy. Yeah. Like this yeah. is chill. This is it's like, yeah, chill. whatever. I know it's chill. It's just like you should really brag more. Just... Big up Noonie in the chat. Yo, dude. Dude, Noonie's always here. Dude, Discord, Instagram is here. Miss you, dude. Hope you're doing good. Yep. Um, do Where you have a at? university degree in something other than music? uh yeah i have a what is it in the in the u.s that would be like a master's in design call it like that yeah (laughs) (laughs) and i no i'm not i mean i don't know i think i left school i was 17 years old yeah don't do that i mean i mean the reality is like it's it's like i'm stoked i wish personally i wish i even like uh quit school even earlier and start music even earlier but mm-hmm. don't do that just don't do it just like yeah no i suck at school it's just it wasn't it i wasn't mean do, me. don't do it but we're also a great example that there isn't one way to make it happen you know yep we have very different um scholar backgrounds yet we're both doing the same thing together today so you know whatever works for you work i would advise to stay at school as much as possible but you me know, too if you can't afford it or if it's just not for you because school is poorly done in lots of different countries you'll uh, be fine yeah yeah i'm telling you if you dude if you work hard if you're a hard worker if you put time dedication and you're not a piece of shit, you'll get a job exactly and same with music square perception said bonsoir les gars bonsoir did you did you guys or you start oh uh, yeah did i start a remix of no mercy Shit, i think i saw a story or something Never mind. Salut. Um, someone says that I look like Post Malone. Do I? I don't. You? I mean, I, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess that I hope that's a joke. I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, no, no face stats, no nothing. Let, let me pull up a, a picture of Post Malone. Right no, now. it's all right. Don't. Just to see how. How? Uh, what inspired you to make music? To be, I mean, to be fairly honest, I was so... No, 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 dude. Yes. Yeah, no, I agree now. No, no, dude. The 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 beard, the shaggy beard, mustache kind of thing. You just Thanks. need like the, the curls, like a couple face tattoos. Oh, dude, there I'm working something. on it. No, 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 there is something. <laughs> yes, I agree. Post Malone. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. So what inspired us to make music? Um... When I first started, I'm not sure because I was really young, but I guess if I had to say today, I'd say it's just the fact that I wanted to 
write music that I wanted to listen to. You know, not not that I, you know, obviously I love a lot of different things, but then you know, you you shape your personal taste and you're like, oh, I want to I want to have a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And originally, you know, wanted to create the music that we couldn't really hear uh, anywhere else. And 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 now like music, electronic music, bass music, like everything has exploded so much in the past, you know, five to ten years um that that there's way more stuff but yeah when we started it was like oh wait like, well you know no one's really put guitars and bass music together whatever it was um but yeah you know just just yeah and and, and there's like some in, inexplicable thing of just felt like it you know oh listen to music dude i want to do this i i can't explain it well yeah i don't know that's this is very personal uh anything can inspire you like anything that happened in your life um i don't know man do like any experiences any people that you meet i don't know anything and everything a book a movie uh other artists like yeah uh, everything is a source could be a source of inspiration to be honest mm -hmm. but yeah just um, like uh no, put down what you i don't know what's it what's in what you feel you know what's in your guts Uh, I'm, I'm reading. Good, it's uh, a good. Sorry, sorry. It's a good uh, therapeutic thing. That's all I wanted to say. It's like, it's a good media to let it all out. Uh, I'm, I'm skipping some questions because they've already been asked. And if you join mid session, then you can always, I guess, uh, watch it again tomorrow. Or you can watch tomorrow. it now. You can go back. Oh now. yeah, true, true. It's all good. Um, But don't. <laughs> hold on. Da -na -na. What was our first label uh, as Dirty Phonics? I think it was um, audio porn. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe you guys did like like really no, tiny. No, we're not talking about that. No, no. Okay, cool. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, audio yeah, I mean, porn. Officially, that was audio porn. Audio porn was our first label. Big up Shimon. Big up Chrissy Chris. Big up Tally. No, yeah. You know they know. Um, no, they know. Big up. Asteroid asks, well, how do you keep the essence of a track when writing or remixing? That's is a really good question. Yeah, uh, and we don't know if we will succeed every time, but we're trying. It's two questions. I feel like it's two questions in one because writing and keeping the vibe, your vibe is not the same thing, at least for me, than remixing and keeping the vibe, the original vibe of the song. Um, it's... It's to be honest, it's something that I really struggle with. But um, if if your idea is very simple and works, then you don't need to overcomplicate things. Um, so you know, stick to and and I think a good example of that would be a uh, hammer, because there's a one straightforward idea that we carried throughout the whole track. It doesn't mean that it doesn't evolve a little bit. That you know, there's different things, but. I believe that, you know, things shouldn't be overcomplicated. If you need to overcomplicate, it's because you couldn't explain your, you know, your ID as easily as you should have. Yeah. And it's very uh, different on in terms of people. Charlie will mostly be th this kind of person. Like you kind of need like a concept and yes. you want yes. to stick to it when I'm more like, eh, not whatever, but you know. I like when things evolve and move and end up unexpected, like kind of, you know, like, like happy accidents. Like, I like that. Yeah. Um, when life sets, dude. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's the saddest thing ever. The, the soonest possible, uh, when it'll be safe for everyone dude. to go out travel and gather in big groups yeah but dude. basically the story goes that uh we were supposed to play uh rampage back in march in belgium and for that event we were working on a whole new set whole new visuals like the whole shebang it was going to be super awesome we were shebang shebang <laughs> uh we worked like day and night for weeks on that thing we're with the entire team we were all like, yeah. we were literally already quarantined with all our True. homie the old team the, uh, the you know like all the vj guys and stuff like that finishing everything creating content matching everything to the music this that dude it's fucking sick and we're yeah. still sitting on it 
and no one ever it's never saw the daylight yet and right. uh, uh, yeah and we were still in the studio working on the whole thing when rampage got canceled That's like what, what the day before though yeah or something like that or two days yeah. earlier to the gig and and the whole coronavirus fucking craziness started we literally made it we were like in the studio in south of france working on it and uh when everything went to shit i think like we made it back to the us like literally a few hours before like all the mm -hmm. all the the countries and stuff were like you know all knocked down so no that was that was, that was, that was crazy but yeah super frustrating but i mean when this whole thing is going to be over we're going to come out swinging yeah with, i mean like, we're, we're already everything. we're already rebooking shows and stuff but you yeah. know everything is up in the air until you know borders reopen and and bigger events um are a thing again so we're we're like you guys we just can't wait to be on the road again yep. and hang out with you guys and and you know share that energy yeah, and um, present what we made because it's fucking crazy yeah but we're also going to make sure that we don't do it until it's safe to do it. Yeah, obviously. Um, now, if you're talking about streaming life sets, ah. tomorrow, tomorrow, Disciple and Bass Rush, uh, it's going to be on Insomniac's Twitch. If and I'm YouTube. Right. And Just YouTube? like every okay. weekend. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, yeah, join tomorrow. Starts at 7 p.m. ES, uh, PST. Yeah, we play at 7 p.m. PST. Okay. Yep. And it goes up until 11, 12? Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, it's like... Who's playing? Uh, phase one, eliminate, mud step, value alive, not sure where. Right, yeah. I'm missing someone. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, okay. sick last, sick lineup. I mean, just you, yeah. you already know. Yeah, just log in. Yeah. Uh, what gives you idea of making music? I mean, we're gonna go fast on this one, but it's um, a mix of the music that the other music that you listen to um and then it you know it could be anything a rhythm that you hear in the street uh a sound that you hear somewhere can trigger an id i mean anything you know uh, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just like playing around you have no idea what you're going to be doing and you just pop a plug in and start playing with it and then oh wow that's this sound happened that's funny because you know when you like start to be like okay i'm gonna write something you know when you like trying to motivate yourself to like okay i'm gonna like try something to write something and you end up just like sound designing. And when you're actually like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a break. I'm just gonna fuck around, make a little sound design and stuff like that. Just like, I don't know, like to you know for later use and stuff like that. This is when you become starting a track. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess it so, does. So yeah, just, uh, I don't know. There is no rules and nothing is never ever set. It just, it just happens sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Purge X ask if you can flip Sayonara. Yeah, you can. Have fun. Hell yeah. Mm -mm -mm. What What was the biggest hurdle you had to climb being an up and coming producer? Uh, Sorry, what? I was listening again. What was the biggest hurdle when we when we started? I don't know what hurdle means in English. The biggest problem, issue, something we had to fight against. Oh wow. Oh. The, the the scene was so different back then. Yeah. In terms of everything, in terms of shows, in terms of producing in terms of uh reaching out to people i mean dude i remember going to shows to see artists that i liked and having a little cd you know demo cd in my hand and and, and giving it to the people and that's you know that, that was like the easiest thing back then basically uh to have your music heard um so today obviously it's like way different the biggest hurdle man i don't know there is so many though like i mean yeah and i guess it really depends on you know who you are and where you're from and because you know once again it's, it's also like depending on where you live it might be like super easy for you to go out to a dubstep show and meet the promoters the djs other artists or whatever or maybe you live somewhere super far so i guess the best today is to like try and connect with people online instagram mostly so hurdle means like struggle like the biggest struggle yeah it's like a you know a Oh, oh, an obstacle. Yeah. Okay. Dude, like the biggest obstacle, there is a lot, but like one of the biggest one is like, um, um, 
I don't know, like stay, stay like, uh, ch- ch- keep being able to like challenge yourself and you know what I mean? Like it just, because that's kind of a challenge, like on an everyday basis after doing this for a while now, you know, like it just, it's really the something you have to like overcome, not on a daily basis, but almost, you know what I mean? Like to be, to be like, you know, pushing your own boundaries and stuff like that. That's a huge one too. I don't know. I'm going way too deep, whatever. Yeah, I think I think I think everyone has their their own. Yeah, it's uh, hard to like vocal. Anyways. Yeah, to voice that. Mm-mm. Okay, uh, we've been on for what sixty eight minutes. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Wait, what? I, I guess we can keep going. We've been on for sixty eight minutes. I think it was an hour, but let's keep pushing. I'm good. A lot of people really want to read these books behind me. Yeah. No shit. Damn, I'm gonna to have to do something about that. Just, just change it. Do something else. Do something <laughs> that we can reach. What hardware do you DJ with during your live set? Um, so hardware only. Um, that would be two machines MK3, one uh, Native Instrument F1, one Native Instrument X1. X1 yeah. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. What What else do we have? That's it. Uh, computer. Oh, com- sorry. Computers, yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I mean, yeah, on stage, on stage, and after everything is linked to the to our VJ video team and stuff like that, because everything is triggered from uh, from stage. But yeah, as like hardware that we play on, we kept it very simple and very light to be able to travel with yeah. as carry ons. Because we don't want to risk, you know, not be able to show up with our gear, and uh, it's been. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, and there was so much you can do just mm-hmm. with like a few controllers. And I think, yeah, it, it it took us a minute to find like the right setup, and just like music, just go straight to the point and know exactly what we want to control, how we want to control, and what amount of freedom we wanted to have, and what was really useful and was and what was just like a just a source of problems but yeah keep it simple efficient and with an unlimited amount of possibilities so yeah still yeah. on that set, still on that setup for sure uh, um, what else what else tips for beginner where can we learn everywhere man everywhere YouTube is the biggest YouTube like I mean, of the world. Yeah, so many, so many, you know, artists are doing tutorials on so many different levels. So, yeah, you can learn a lot from there for sure. Like Belly Alive is doing right now. <laughs> you know, like this is this constant. Yeah, eat cheese. Ah, oh, come on, don't don't play with me here. Don't play with me. I don't even know where you are. I'm still reading all this stuff. Uh, someone's asking us if we have played Doom Eternal. Nope. No, not yet. Uh, it looks insane. Obviously, love the music. Um, but I mean, as I said earlier, you know, I started playing Call of Duty. Um, but if I start playing Doom Eternal as well, then it's definitely the end of the new EP. <laughs> I can, you know, it's it's a you gotta you gotta choose your battles. Um, and and yeah, no, I gotta I gotta stick with uh, with Call of Duty. And you know what? Having said that, I'm not even that good at Call of Duty, so. When I feel like I'm good enough, maybe I'll switch to a different game. But until then, I'm gonna, you know, stay focused on this. I know Willie, yeah, Willie barely live plays uh, Doom Eternal. I think, I think I've seen him. Um, someone asked, "What's your setup?" Uh, we answered for the um, live show setup. I don't know if you're asking for like studio setup. If that's the case, um, and I'll answer that question regardless. You know what? Not much. Uh, we used to have a lot of, you know, hardware synth and stuff. And over the years, because we've moved here, obviously, and because we're always on the road, we figured out that we needed to be able to, be able to like transfer sessions and stuff super easily from a computer to another um, to take the songs with us on the road. And there's no way you can do that when you have, you know, synth like physical external things that you actually need. Um, so yeah, you know, just, just a sound card. I have a Motu A28 MK3. Um, Pitch has a Scarlet, if I'm right. Yeah, I have like a small one. Uh, yeah, we have like a native instrument. What's the, what's the, 
Oh, you have the big one. What's keyboard? Yeah, I have the S61, but oh, that's yeah. like studio size. And then I have a little MPK25 um, Akai that I can take with me on the road. You have, uh, we both have uh, a machine. Do yeah. You, what do you, what, you don't have another, another launch pad or whatever from Native Instrument? I don't think so. No. Okay. Shit, I thought. And uh, no, basically, the thing we cannot not have is... I mean, we need ODZ's headphone and a sub pack. Yeah. Like, to be honest, yeah. like this, this is the thing I think we don't, we can't, I mean, we can't work without rather than that. Like, I mean, that, that's pretty much it, right? Mm -hmm. So you'd yeah. be able to mix down and master anywhere. You don't, you don't need anything else. Um, and, and, and anyways, I hear a lot of, uh, or I read a lot of, you know, talks about equipment online and all of that. You need a laptop, even a shitty one. That's it. It's not about which sound card you have, which keyboard, which you know, modular, blah blah blah. It's fun. If it's you're trying to fun keep to everything in the box, yes. But if you want to, yeah, no, I mean, but you know, for, for a lot, for a lot of people that are starting, you know, it's 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 money to spend to buy more and more equipment. No, no shit. And the thing is, you don't need it. It'll, yeah. you know, over time, if you can afford it, then. You know, it'll make it'll make it like easier. And some people are very hands, you know, down on hands on on uh, equipment. Um, I'm I'm not a piano player by any means, so I don't need to have an actual keyboard in front of me. And sure, it's much more comfortable to have one, uh, you know, like a full range one with whatever it is, like eight octaves or six, whatever. Um, so you can play like the bass and like the lead of the same sound at the same time, and you don't have to like switch um, octaves. But it's it's just comfort, as far as we're. Turn. Oh, yeah, and I forgot lots of guitars. Lots of guitars. What are where are you at? Wait, what? Uh I was at I was like randomly I was at a Rusco or Scream. Obviously, both. They both changed the game in a huge way. So both. I love them both. I mean as as music, of course. All right, so I totally, the chat just went crazy and I lost where I was. So. Wait, what's happening? I don't know. Where am I? I hear it. Bonsoir. Yeah. Um, C'est moi où tous les Français sont partis. On est là, ma gueule. Mais oui, bien sûr. Bien sûr. Um, let's answer a couple ones and then uh, I'm going to have to eat something. Go and eat something because I'm so hungry. Cool. How do you make that crazy Reese? These that crazy Reese's. Um, Reese's are pretty simple. I mean, there once again, there's millions of uh, tutorials about how to do it on YouTube. Um, but basically, it's like two of the same waveform waveform that are uh, off sync a little bit. I mean, sorry, not off sync, off tune. So it's um, it, uh, yeah. Thank you. That's a better way to say it. So yeah, just detune. Two waves they could be saw waves they could be sine waves square waves whatever uh but yeah just teaching them a little bit or you know a lot but then yeah you can find uh you can find your reese that was the shittiest explanation <laughs> <laughs> wow go on youtube yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's pretty simple to to make a reese uh, all right so yeah lots of lots of the same questions um oh Someone says, who plays the guitar or are they samples? Uh, I play the guitar um, and sometimes we do use samples. It really depends on either if we have a guitar at the hand, first of all, and uh, if not, sometimes like you do find a sample or a sound that you actually like I and mean, you just uh, end up using it. So, did, you, wait, did you not do like a, a little bit of the guitar part with the shit when we were on tour in Australia, New Zealand? You were not like I don't know. I thought you were. You had a plug or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are, like, there like, I don't know. What was you? I don't remember. There, there are plugins. Uh, there are uh, contact banks. There's like many ways to recreate guitars uh, when when you don't have access to one, um, yeah. and it can sound very very close to the real thing. So yeah, I mean it's 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 pretty easy to make happen. And if you do happen to be able to play the guitar and have one, then have fun. You know, that'll always, it's funny because it's like, it's different to write a part when you're playing, at least for me, or when I'm like midiing it 
because it's somehow it's not the same part of the brain that works. I'm not sure how to explain that. But actually, both are interesting. Maybe you can mix both. I, Australian gang. Oh, yeah. Australian gangs. All right. Well, thank you very much for um, joining us today. Uh, remember that tomorrow there is the Disciple and Base Rush live stream on Insomniac TV and YouTube. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, don't forget, don't sleep on that biggest remix competition of oh, all times. Uh, 16 producers have given their samples. Grab the samples, play with them, impress us. And most important, have fun. All right. I don't know if D is going to take control. I don't know. That, sound really, that, that sounds weird, right? Is D going to take control? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank Got you all you. for joining us. And uh, we will see you soon. Cool.